Trevor is making his way out to the field in search of one of the most challenging, adaptable, and majestic game animals you can find, the Audad. We're down here in Southwest Texas, so looking for exotic, Audad, uh, Saika. I was down here earlier in the year hunting hogs, and we stumbled upon some Audad, and, uh, and a ram stopped there and let us look at them. Outside of the fact that Audad are just beautiful, they're impressively sized, they're very muscly, and you know, if you're gonna hunt with a, with a handgun, especially large caliber handguns. Animals that are a tougher target or you really need to put good, a good hit on. Uh, you need bullet energy to, to take them down. That's really exciting. They're, they're an exceptional animal to, to hunt, especially with a handgun. Today, we're using a, a Smith uh, Performance Center 460. For the handgun hunter, we have, you know, moving beyond, say, the 44 mag, I've been shooting big bore handguns for, you know, 20 years. We now have calibers and models that are uh, really tailored to the handgun hunter and calibers with energy levels well beyond what we had, you know, 20 years ago. While Trevor makes his way to the blind, let's learn more about the sights that he's using on his Smith & Wesson Performance Center 460 XVR. Hi, I'm Trevor with Ivis Shooting Systems. I have the Smith & Wesson Performance Center XVR here with a prototype rear sight uh, with interchangeable fiber optics. And I'd like to show you a little bit about how it works and how to change the fibers. The tool we use has a small fin right here molded into the side of the tool. And then we see a locking groove in the center of the light pipe and this machine feature right here which locks the light pipe. So what we want to do is insert this at a slight angle. And the angle follows the line right here on the tool and push that fin into the locking groove in the fiber and then twist backwards. And as you put pressure and twist, you'll see the light pipe start to protrude out the back of the sight. Then you can use, or I use, this end of the tool just to push it out. To insert the fiber, you just guide it in place, push it in until it locks. And that's how you change the fibers. The rear sight will come with green, red, and black fibers. And you can interchange and reuse them. First day I got here, we went out and did an a evening hunt and uh, set up on uh, one spot where anything could come in, And uh, but the Audad had been coming in there and uh, we were fairly hopeful. We, uh, they hadn't been in there for quite a while, so we got in there and got set up and uh, animals started moving right away. Uh, we had deer, turkey, then one Audad appeared basically out of nowhere. You know, you glance to your, you glance to your left, you come back and, and there they are, they just appear. They're amazingly suspicious. They just wait and look and wait and look, and it's really unlike anything else I've hunted. He milled around a little bit, and he just acted like he was looking for a reason to leave. We just decided then that we needed to go ahead and take a shot. Did you get it? I got it. <laughs> what do you think? That's awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> Boy, they, they are really weary. Yeah, I told you. He said he's going to come, he's going to stand, he's going to look forever. Well. Wow. You're right. That was awesome. You put him down right where he was standing. That's pretty impressive <laughs> for an odd ad. <laughs> to drop an odd ad like that is pretty good. <laughs> I'm not going to say that uh, nothing's a guarantee in hunting, but if you put it where you need, where it should go, that's what I expected to see. You know, he, he gave me a quarter and away shot, and um, the grizzly ammo put the put the hammer on. <laughs> One shot dropped him right where he stood. Uh, 460 is pretty impressive. Congratulations, Trevor. This ram is a stunning representation of a mature and distinguished audad.